Okay, so now we wanna put this info together to look at this problem. I want you to take a look at your paper and decide how much work you actually completed. This is a past release question from the I-STEP 10. Okay, and all too often what happens is my students read this first piece and they get to part A where they have to fill this out and they decide they don't know how to do it and therefore they leave the problem blank and they don't spend the time to recognize that there are various other ways they could solve part B and part C without even knowing how to do part A. Right, and you could earn a significant amount of points on part B and part C and still not have part A correct. So leaving it blank is never a good choice. You always wanna make sure you're considering every part of the problem and answering where you can. Okay, right, so this is talking about Zach having a basic cell phone plan and he's gonna upgrade so that he can do some texting, right? Plan A is going to charge us 25 cents per text. Plan B is going to charge us a cheaper price of 20 cents per text, but we're also going to have to pay a $15 monthly fee. Okay, so this wants us to write a couple equations that will represent each of these situations. So when we're looking at writing these equations, we have a couple things that we would need to consider. We would need to consider one variable, okay, which would tell us the total he spends in a month. Okay, so that's going to be one of our options, one of our variables. And then our other variable is going to be the number of texts that he sends. Sorry, I'm going to squeeze this in over here. All right, the number of texts that he's sending each month. Both of those things are sort of happening to affect the price. The number of texts that we send are going to affect the total amount that we spend each month. Okay, so if we look at package A, package A charges 25 cents per text. Okay, so if we're thinking about those total story problems, right, we always want the total to be equal to what we're spending. And anything that's happening per item, per our text, is going to get the variable. Okay, so package B says that we're going to have a total. And we're going to set that equal to the 20 cents that we're spending plus... The additional $15. Now we're gonna put an X on this 20 cents because it's happening per text, right? And anytime something is happening per item, we're going to assign it a variable. Now here's the good news. If you didn't know how to write these equations, you could look at part B and just go back to our basic story problems perspective, right? This is a comparison story problem. We have option A, and we have option B, right? And we know that we can set those two things equal to each other. So maybe you couldn't write the equation, but you can interpret where these fall. So we know 25 cents is going under option A. We know 20 cents is going under option B. And 15 is going under option B as well, right? Then anything that's happening per item is gonna get a variable. Right, and anything that includes multiple pieces because it's a total gets an addition sign. If you did this, this would give you the exact same equation as deciding to solve these two as a system. Okay, so if we chose to solve this as a system, right, we circle, we underline, we plug in the 0.25x, and look, we get the exact same equation. So if you would have skipped part A and all you knew was our basic solving equations or um, solving story problems rules, you still could have made a ton of progress and earned multiple points on this problem, right? So we'll start solving this. Our variables are on opposite sides. So we're going to use the opposite sign. Make sure you don't lose your decimal. And then we'll divide, right? That's a 0.05, not 0.5. Okay, and when we divide, that tells us that X equals 300. Okay, and that's enough to answer our question here, right? Because our question says, when will they be the same? When will they be equal to each other? Equal to each other. They will be equal to each other at 300 texts. Now, our last question wants us to know, well, what should be the case if he is going to send 250 text messages? Which plan should he go with? Well, there's a couple approaches we can take for this one. One approach is that we can recognize at 300 texts, they're the same. 
So on the 301st text, do, do we want to spend 25 cents or do we want to spend 20 cents? Well, 20 cents is cheaper. So at 300 plus texts, right? So 301, 350, 400, 5,000, whatever. If we're spending more or sending more than 300 texts, then we want to go with option B. Okay, if we're doing 300 or less, Right, then we wanna go with option A. So Zach's gonna send 250, which is less than 300, so that tells us we wanna go with option A. That's one approach. Now, maybe you didn't know how to get this equation. Maybe you couldn't figure out this 300. Okay, you could still go up to the original problem and say, okay, well, option A is doing 25 cents per text. So I'm just gonna take 25 cents and multiply it times the 250 that he's planning to spend. Okay, pull out a calculator, type that in, that will give you $62.50. Okay, then do the same thing for option B. Okay, option B says, okay, I know he's gonna spend 20 cents for each of the 250 texts, plus he's gonna also have to spend $20. Pull out a calculator, type that into a calculator, and it will tell you $65. Okay, if we compare the two of these, which is cheaper, 62.50 or 65. Option A is cheaper and we should go with option A. Right, so maybe we couldn't do part A or part B, but we could still get an answer for part C. Right, we should always be answering each section even if we can't complete the entire problem.